Good morning, welcome back to Fatoon's Kitchen. Today we are going to do a lemon trifle. I have all my ingredients here, so I'm going to do the step by step. Okay, so let's get started. Here I have some lemon, pudding and pie filling, the instant pudding and pie filling. This is a uh, three ounce, 3.4 ounces box. I'm going to use two of them. Sorry about that, we had to stop for a moment to readjust the camera so you guys can see what we are doing. Now, this is the lemon pudding and pie filling, which I'm using two boxes. Usually, you can make your own custard and add lemon zest and your lemon juice. But I'm doing this for quickness and to easy this way, okay? So, I have the pudding and pie filling here in the bowl. Now, to this, I have a cup and a half of milk, but I'm just going to add half of it to start with, and the lemon zest. Okay, and I'll quickly whisk this. Now I'm going to go in with the rest of milk. I may have to add a bit more, but as I whisk in, I'll adjust accordingly. But sometimes I don't even add more because I love to put in the cool whip in it, which takes the place of that extra um, milk and it gives it a light fluffy texture. So I'll go in with half of this. You see the difference already? Okay. Now, I'm going to go brave and add the whole amount. The box. And this is, um, let's see here, this is an eight ounce container. Now this smells so lovely, it's all lemony and nice. Now I can add a little more lemon zest, but because I use this lemon pudding and pie filling, it is quite um, lemony, as I would say. So let me just give this a, I'll come back and whisk a bit, bit but I just want to clean the sides of the bowl, so I get everything incorporated nicely the whipped cream to the size and look at that you see I'm just folding that there now I don't even need the whisk here all right so this is part of the um, of it for the mixture I'm just going to set this in the fridge whilst I do the other thing before we start assembling Okay. Now here I have, this is some um, softened, like, but the whipped cream cheese. So, this is usually the oh, no. And I have, I usually make or buy lemon curds, but I didn't have time and I couldn't find any, but I bought a lemon pie full it, fill in. Okay, so I'm going to add this here now. Now all the recipe is going to be in my our description box, the exact amount. So I'm just giving this a nice whisk, like this. Okay. 
game. Get everything out of in here. Again, I'm going to put this in the fridge until I'm ready to use. Okay, now here I'm going to make some my cream to top the um, trifle. Now you can use the same whipped cream in the tub, but I like to do mine, you know, with the heavy cream and the confectioner's sugar. So because you want it to be cold, I put some ice in my bowl and I there. I'm going to add confectioner's sugar and uh, cream. I may have to add some more cream, I'll adjust the suit. So. With this now till it form like nice soft peaks. I may have to put, we may have to put more confectioner sugar, but as we go along, I'll see. So I'll be right back. Alright, you see how it's getting here? So we have to I have to continue beating it a little bit more. Right, let me just get a spoon, you see. All right, just a little bit longer. Now this is perfect. I'm going to rest this in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. I'll be right back. Okay, we are about to assemble the lemon trifle. Now this is the cake, the lemon cake, which my husband Mike made. Okay, um, so I just cut it into squares and I'll put some squares the little cube sorry and I'll crumble some but before what I like to do I take a little bit of that pudding and pie mixture and I just put to the base of 
my dish. Not much, just all right. Now I'm putting the cake. Okay, I'm just crumbling a little bit in too. It's so soft and tender. It's a little harder to crumble, but it's fine. It's perfect. Okay. To this now, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, diluted lemon zest, lemon juice just for a little moisture to an extra moisture all right let me get another spoon this is the filling the cream cheese and the lemon Okay, just a few blueberries. I'm going to put some of the whipped cream. Just a few more. All right. And I did the blueberries that I just put in again. And now I'm going to repeat this layer. Repeat what I just did. Okay, now this is the whipping cream. So usually to make it easy, I find any bottle, clean bottle because, and I put the bag in and then I just go like this. Cause this is something I learned when I to do um, my stuffed eggs because I don't like to spoon on stuffed eggs, whether it's for home or whatever, I like to put it through the piping bag. Just my preference. So now you just do it like this. Pull it up. No mess and really easy. Just pull down, okay. Oh. 
Mm. Just a little bit there. Okay, now to this, I'm just going to put one of these in nicely there. Okay now, and there you have it, my lemon trifle. So from my kitchen to yours, you can do this, and it's so many different variations, because you can do strawberry, you can do cherry, traditional trifle, which at a later date, I'm going to do one of the real traditional trifle for you. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here we are with the finished trifles. I got this size because I'm taking this for someone. This hair and two in the wine glasses, the water goblets rims. Now, if I was just doing it, this is the it would the recipe would give you this full trifle bowl and maybe two or three of these or smaller glasses all right so thank you uh, please subscribe like and share this video and thank you for viewing